as principal, it is with great pride that I welcome you to Harry Frank Stadium for Neshaminy High School's 125th commencement. The class of 2020, you have made it. Well, at least half of it. <laughs> at least half so far, as Dr. McGee says. I would like to thank all of the first responders for being here today and your continued support of Neshaminy High School. I also would like to thank all in attendance today for following the safety guidelines established for the event, including social distancing and staying six feet apart from others, and wearing a mask at all times. There are also hand sanitizer stations located at the entrance gates for your use. Now, to begin today's ceremony, please rise for the national anthem and the alma mater. Gentlemen, please remove your caps. Flags behind you. Flag behind. Can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last evening, whose much shines and bright stars through the barrel of spies for the ramparts we Please be seated. To all for the student greeting, it is my pleasure to introduce two student leaders, Ms. Ashley Oswalt, Vice President, and Ms. Miranda Horton, historian for the class of 2020. Hello, friends and family. Welcome to the very first entry on your adult life's long list of milestones. I'm so excited to be standing here in front of you today, reflecting on the years we were able to share together. First things first, I want to give a big thank you to some special people who made today possible for us as students. Teachers, you are all some of the most inspiring and loving people I'll ever meet. 
Thank you for pushing us to achieve goals we never thought we would reach. You all have had such an impact on me as well as my peers. Today is full of many emotions, sad to be leaving a chapter of our lives that truly changed us, yet filled with so much excitement to finally turn the page to a new chapter in our lives. These were the best four years of my life. It's bittersweet. We know at every dance, concert, play, game, class trip, and Friday nights at the Ridge that these memories we were making would be the times we knew we would miss even before they, would, they were over. We had four short, fulfilling years to make the most of all of these times, and I hope you're sitting here today appreciating every moment of it. Little did we know that a random Thursday in March would be our last day of high school, ever. We all grow up thinking life is structured and it will go as planned. And for most of the time, that is true. But for our graduating class this year, we didn't get to finish our last prom, the last meetup in the hallway, and the last goodbye to all of our teachers. During these times, I have realized how it feels to want something for the betterment of our community, especially on a day as special as today. I stand here wanting a great thing for something bigger than ourselves. Look to your left and look to your right. These people around us are our roots, our hometown, our ties to childhood. And this is the place that we will come back to one day and remember the crazy memories that we'll share with generations to come. Like my own mother, an Ashamini graduate, who proudly talks to anyone about her times here back in the day. Similar to the times that we spent in this very stadium, a place that taught us pride and what it's like to be unified as one team. No matter where we end up in the world, we will be forever tied as one with the Nishamini name. Most of us have been here together since kindergarten, and now we are here today as high school seniors, all grown up with big dreams of taking on the world. These 13 years together allowed us to discover our true selves. That's what high school is all about, trying new things until we find the right path. We walked into this building on the very first day terrified of leaving the safety of our close-knit middle schools, and before we knew it, thrown into a whole new setting of thousands of people who were soon to become some of our closest friends, those who would play a huge part in finding our true selves. With all the challenges we are facing together, nobody can tell us we're too young to understand. With so much uncertainty, it is now our generation's time to shape the future. As we all go separate ways, I want you to remember this. Some of the most influential people in life started their journey just like us, an average high school graduate confused about where to go next. We are all at the same starting line. It is up to you to decide where to go next. Whether it may be off to college, the military, the workforce, or just some time off, know you have the world at your fingertips and have the power to create a better world for generations to come. Our time is now. We must, we must have confidence in ourselves and the tools that Chamonix has given us to succeed. You already know the wonderful feeling of success and sadly the dampening failure of failure. But don't worry, there is plenty more of these kinds of feelings. That, my friends, is called life. But you cannot let your failures define you. Learn how to become better than before and show those around you how you got back up. That is a legacy, changing others for the better. Our senior class has indeed left a legacy. Despite all the odds, we made it here to this day when most thought it would be impossible. All of you have shown what it's like to get back up and fight even harder. We are strong-minded, progressive, empowered members of society who have shown those around us what it means to have grit. And they will learn from us, the class of 2020, the year we gave everyone hope. Here's to your new dreams, new possibilities, and new tomorrows. Congratulations, Congratulations seniors, seniors, and welcome, welcome to the Nishamini Commencement Ceremony. ceremony.
Thank you, Ashley and Miranda. Student leadership is an essential element of a great high school. In addition to Ashley and Miranda, we will meet a number of other student leaders today. The next two leaders, Ms. Gina Sexton, Secretary, and Ms. Rachel Banks, Treasurer for the Class of 2020, they will deliver the student welcome. Ready for me to start? Yeah. Good afternoon and welcome friends, family, and peers to the Class of 2020 graduation ceremony. On behalf of the Class of 2020, we would like to thank our family members, the Neshaminy High School staff, coaches, and friends here today. Your constant support helped us get where we are today and prepare us for the future. After experiencing 13 years at Neshaminy, I would have never imagined my final year to end like this and I'm sure that today isn't exactly what we imagined our high school graduation would be. In this trying time, we have been hoping for an in-person graduation because high school graduation is one of the most important milestones in a person's life. One thing we can all take away from this pandemic is how to adapt to change and how to overcome adversity. Personally, I wouldn't have made it through these uncertain times without free Krispy Kreme donuts. A wise woman with a positive attitude, my mother, once told me, if you see it happening, it'll happen. A few months ago, I didn't think we'd be having a graduation ceremony. Luckily, we finally got our special day, even if it wasn't what we expect expected. Now, let's look back on when we enter entered Neshaminy High School for the first time for our freshman orientation. We were overwhelmed by the sheer size of the school. I'm pretty sure I got lost on my way to the pool on the third floor a few times. It's crazy how much we have changed since that day. During sophomore year, we were still unsure of where we belonged, but we had an idea. We started to get to know our way around the school like the back of our hand, and we started growing closer and getting to know the ones around us even better than the year before, even though we were so anxious to get through the year and become the upperclassmen. Junior year was tough, but rewarding. We started looking into colleges and planning our futures, while some of us had an early case of senioritis. We gained more respect from our peers and were no longer looked at as underclassmen. From being recognized by teachers to befriending the hall aides and security guards, we lost old friends and made new friends. And somewhere in the mix of all that, we helped each other make it here today. Whether we were friends, classmates, or just passed each other in the hall, we all made an impact on everyone. Finally, senior year, the year that we have all been waiting for, and the year that took an unexpected turn that was not in our favor. Look around at all the familiar faces and be grateful to have this moment. After all the sad TikToks that we have all made about having an abnormal senior year, it is safe to say that the class of 2020 has made it. Let us not dwell on the past too much. Let us focus on the good that has come from this experience. Instead, let us appreciate the times that we have been through together at Neshaminy High School. Once again, welcome to the Class of 2020 graduation ceremony, and one last thank you to Neshaminy High School for shaping us into the people that we are today. Through all the good and bad times, we finally made it. Neshaminy Class of 2020, it has been an honor to be here with you today. This is the day that we have all been waiting for. Appreciate these past four years and hold on to the memories that we have made here at Neshaminy. Good luck to each and every one of you in your future endeavors. I wish you all the best.
as you can see, Neil is our most important person here today, so let's give him a round of applause. Thank you, Gina and Rachel. It is my pleasure to welcome to the podium Dr. Robert McGee, superintendent of the Neshaminy School District and a Neshaminy graduate himself. Dr. McGee? But first, Neil. Thank you, Mr. Staub. Good morning, blue team. You can't write this stuff. Seniors, this morning, you are in your final assembly as a class at the Chamonix High School. And this is the last time we will be able to refer to you as seniors. Though it may be a few minutes premature, it gives me great pleasure to be one of the first to welcome you to an ever-growing family of Neshaminy alumni. In a moment, you'll be among a group of people dating back many, many decades who can proudly state, I am a Neshaminy graduate. Congratulations on your accomplishment as it marks the culmination of a 12-year pursuit. Over 1,000 certified and support staff members have helped you along the way to this point in time. And somewhere out there in the stands, or maybe home watching the live stream, are moms, dads, grandmoms, grandpops, family and friends who have also guided you on your journey. Take a short break, you have earned it. But not for too long. Though graduation marks the end of your high school experience, it's just the beginning of a much longer journey, a much more important journey. Continue this journey, pursue your goals, pursue your dreams, pursue your passions, and along the way, use your talents to help make the world a better place for yourself and others, just as you've done here at Neshaminy High School. Normal graduation speech advice usually has something to do with go change the world. But as I said in June in our virtual ceremony, the class of 2020 may very well have to put the world back together. I'm going to tell you the same thing I told the class of 2018. It, it's just as important now, if not more, than it was then. I asked them to consider to changing themselves first. As you may have noticed, we find ourselves in a nation in a state of unrest on many, many issues, whether it be social issues, environmental issues, racial issues, religious issues, or political issues. You name the issue, we seem to be arguing about it. This is where I'd like you to change yourself. For each of these issues, work to see them as debates and disagreements. Debate and disagreement on how best to proceed as a nation and society. These debates are not necessarily right versus wrong, and it's most definitely not the good versus the bad. These, these issues are simply disagreements. Debating and disagreeing have been at the heart of our nation since its birth. So I asked you to continue to passionately argue such issues, but as you do, Please remember, it's not necessarily right versus wrong, and it's most definitely not the good versus the bad. It's just debate and disagreement on the best ways to advance the same ideas that we cherish so dearly as a nation. We need you. Your community needs you. Your nation needs you. And our world needs you to make a difference, just as you've done here at Neshaminy High School. Look back at your experiences at Neshaminy. Smile, reflect, cry, shake your head, be critical, celebrate, but give thanks as these experiences have helped shape you and prepare you for the challenges yet to come. These experiences will be part of you forever. Again, congratulations and welcome to the club.
Thank you, Dr. McGee. I would now like to introduce Mrs. Kathy Winchester, class of 2020 advisor, to give her farewell remarks. Welcome family, friends, and good morning graduates. I welcomed you at freshman orientation with the same butterflies you had. How was I going to plan events successfully for over 600 kids? You have come such a long way since then. I have had the opportunity to work alongside the class officers to create memories that will turn into lifelong memories. It was, an, it was amazing planning and working with the class of 2020 and especially the five class officers, Mandy, Ashley, Gina, Rachel, and Miranda. Thank you for all of the hard work that you put in. Growing apart from your high school friends doesn't change the fact that for a long time you grew side by side. Your roots will always be intertwined, and as they say, once a redskin, always a redskin. Congratulations on your accomplishments, and good luck, class of 2020, in all your future endeavors. Thank you, Mrs. Winchester. It is my pleasure to introduce the valedictorian for the class of 2020, Alexandria Ziegler. Hello, class of 2020. Congratulations. We have devoted endless hours and effort to reach this moment today. Just as much as this is an accomplishment for ourselves, it is also an accomplishment of our families, friends, teachers, and staff. Our graduation today is a reflection of your teaching and guidance over the years, so I want to congratulate and thank you as well. Walking into senior year, none of, ex us, none of us expected this ending. We expected senior prom, a last day, a normal senior picnic, and a graduation with our whole class. However, this is not the reality we live in. The pandemic happened, we cannot change that aspect of it, but we can change the course of this pandemic. We can fight back by adapting to the new normal and making the most of this truly unfortunate situation. One thing that I have realized from this pandemic is that you can't take anything for granted. Nothing in life is guaranteed. It is a commonly used quote but I never realized the significance of it until now. We must make the most of what we have and truly live every day to the fullest. In life, it is what leads to these moments, the building blocks that truly matter. The triumphs and victories and the challenges and struggles all take a key part in our story. We all have been faced with significant obstacles and problems we must overcome. Some of us have lost someone we loved. Some of us have endured a big injury, removing us from our sport or regular life. Some of us have become sick and missed a competition, performance, or show. Some of us have struggled in classes to obtain the grade we wanted. All of us have been impacted by the pandemic and have had our senior year, year reconfigured. 
Whether you only fit one of the challenges I named or all of them, we all have endured struggles in our lives. These struggles are what make us who we are. Without them, we wouldn't have the strength to persevere through hard circumstances. These struggles are what led you to this, make it to this day, graduation. So I want to congratulate each and every one of you before me. In eighth grade, my English teacher, Mr. Marte, shared with the class the poem, The Road Not Taken by Robert Frost. This poem resonates with me and has been my life motto ever since. The final lines of the poem say, two roads diverged in a wood, and I, I took the one less traveled by, and that has made all the difference. This has become even more relevant today. As a class, we were born during the 9-11 national crisis, and today we will graduate in the midst of a pandemic. No other graduating class will be able to say this, and we should proudly say we survived and conquered these challenges. We certainly did not take the easy road to graduate, and our class will be remembered in history for the unfortunate circumstances we were faced with. However, in reality, this will not be the last issue facing our life, state, country, or world. There will always be another challenge awaiting us once the current one is solved. We must accept these challenges and forge our own path of discovery. If we follow everyone else, no discovery, advancements, or technology will be made. We must forge our own path and create our own story so that we can solve the issues of the future. We must all be leaders in whatever career we pursue so that we can make a positive difference in the world. We have the knowledge, strength, and ability to discover the impossible. We just need to have the courage to take that first step into untracked territory. As Christopher Robin once said, you must always remember, you are braver than you believe and stronger than you seem and smarter than you think. Thank you, class of 2020, and once again, congratulations. Thank you, Alexandria. Please know how proud I am of you. It is my pleasure to introduce senior class president for the class of 2020, Amanda Winchester. Hello, class of 2020. Today is a day to celebrate with your friends, family, or maybe just your two guests sitting up in the stand six feet apart. We couldn't have gotten here without the help of two very important people. So a big thanks goes to our class principal, Mr. Mueller, who has worked diligently and swiftly from the little things like greeting us each morning in the halls to, to making sure we park perfectly straight behind on the scenes of JCT, prom, and gym night. You may not have seen him, but he was always there making sure to help with the memories that will last a lifetime. Another big thanks goes to our class advisor, our teacher, and our friend, who many of you know as Mrs. Winchester, but I know as mom. Everything you have done for me has shaped me into the person I am today, and I can never thank you enough. From being a teacher, class advisor, cheer coach, a mom, and my best friend, you're the greatest person I know, and I will always look up to you. Also, another thanks is definitely necessary for administration, our teachers, friends, and family who have been with us for the last four years of high school. As we part ways, going to either college, the military, straight to the workforce, or wherever you may go, remember to always cherish the memories, because as you have seen in the last four years, time flies. Congratulations, class of 2020.
Thank you, Amanda. Now, it is with great pleasure that I have the opportunity to present the class of 2020. I want to congratulate you as you move to the next stage of your lives. I am so proud of how you handled this shortened school year and advocated for yourself and others. I want you to know my gift for you today is that I will not reread my speech that was aired during the virtual graduation. Instead, if you happen to listen, I'm not sure that you did, that speech centered around advocating for yourself and others. And we are here today because several people advocated on your behalf, including the school board, central administration, your teachers, building administration, but most of all, your student leaders and your first teachers, your parents who are sitting out here today, who have been through this every step of the way with you since kindergarten. So let's give them a thank you. And now it is time. Will the Chamonix School Board member, Mr. Marty Sullivan, please come forward to confirm the diplomas upon the class of 2020. Mr. Sullivan, on behalf of the faculty and administration in the Chamonix High School, I am pleased to inform you that those members of the class of 2020 seated before you today have or will successfully complete the requirements for graduation as established by the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania and the Neshaminy School District and are now ready to receive the confirmation of diplomas from you. Long pause. Will the class of 2020 please rise? <laughs> Under the authority and powers granted me by the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania and serving in that capacity as a member of the Neshaminy Board of School Directors, I hereby decree that the students of Neshaminy High School, class of 2020, assembled here today are entitled to the official confirmation of their diplomas. As a symbol of this confirmation of diplomas, I now ask that the class of 2020 to move their tassels from the right to the left of their caps. Best of luck. We now come to a very special portion of our ceremony, the time that each graduate is called to the front of the class to receive recognition. In order to fully recognize each individual student, we request the audience and graduates refrain from excessive celebration until the roll call is completed. Announcing the roll call of graduates will be NHS former business teacher, he himself will be graduating this year, Mr. Deal. and NHS business teacher, Mrs. Siri San Martino, Gradu both graduates themselves. Graduates will continue to the, st the stage, turn to the bleacher section, and make their way outside the stadium. Thank you.
Alexandria C. Ziegler. Amanda M. Winchester. Jack Murphy Brookshaw. Ashley G. Oswald. Gabriella Lucia Vasquez. Gina M. Sexton. Jessica M. Deeroff. Rachel L. Banks. Kieran Elizabeth O'Neill. Miranda R. Horton. Elizabeth Grace Bresler. Emily Jean Tantala. Olivia G. Scotty. Tess R. Acker. Eltajani Aljamir. Amanda Alpaw. Mackenzie Lee Anderson. Wade Bruce Angst. Samantha Lillian Antoyan. Alessia Rose Aquilone. Ashley Nicole Arkamone. Alexis D. Aukett. Justice E. Balabusco. Gabrielle B. Banner. Brian Michael Beeren. Samantha Barrios. Brandon Zachary Barron. Abigail Rose Bazanka. Nicole Robin Berman. Annabella Ryan Bethke. Madeline H. Billet. Bree Ann Binkowski. Zoe Maeve Blake. Emily Elizabeth Blonder. Rocco L. Bogey. Lindsay L. Borneman. Brittany Loretta Boulay. Gavin M. Bowman. Ryan E. Brandau. Annabella R. Brennan. Wyatt T. Brennan. Christopher Joseph Bridge. Kirsten Lynn Brooks. Joseph L. Browns. Noah A. Brown. Riley E. Burns. Madison May Byrne. Mason D. Calderbank. Amanda Lee Camillo. Dylan Lee Campbell. Taylor Jane Campbell. Julia Rose Capaldi. Devin Carango. Joseph A. Carey. Jolie R. Carney. Griffin Matthew Carr. Christina Marie Carsley. Anthony Dominic Casile. Dominic Brian Kester. Desiree Stormy Cathy. Caitlin Cavallari. Allison Nicole Cephalone. Mert Salhattan Silixi Jr. Christopher James Chamberlain. Shannon Mary Charlton. Chelsea Chavez. Caitlin Ann Churkis. Katarina T. Charrington. Abby E. Cherry. Anthony S. Sisamaro. Haley Ann Serino. Logan S. Cohen. Reese S. Cohen. Isabella Noel Colaccio. Nicolette P. Coleman. Tiffany A. Corcoran. Brooke Elizabeth Cordisco. Nicolette Cortez. Molly Marie Coglin. Jonathan William Crane. Kristen A. Curley. Alex M. Deshi. Jacob M. Daly. Leanne Dalton. Leah DeForest. Iluna Daruga. Anastasia Datsenko. Marin L. Davies. Daniel P. Dean. Anthony Michael DeAngelis. Alex William Dampman. Carly Elizabeth DeMaria. Joseph Matthew DiMatteo. Mason A. 
Demai. Jaden N. Dennis. Anthony DiMartino. Lubav Valerie Dimov. Samantha Nicole Dodeda. Phoenix A. DeRusso. Samantha M. DeSandro. Madeline A. Downing. Hannah K. Dooley. Jillian S. Dwyer. Jacqueline B. Dizel. Sundiata Dodd Albacara. Gabriella Raylene Ellis. Carla Elvira. Casey J. Erb. Daniel A. Arrigo. Catherine Renee Ashuski. David J. Exner. David William Foz. Grace M. Fairbrother. Ethan L. Feynman. Laura Claire Finnell. Victoria L. Fisher. Thomas Joseph Fitch. Caitlin E. Fleming. Corinne Leslie Foisey. Patrick F. Foreman. Mackenzie J. Foster. Daniel C. Frederick. Juliana R. Frisch. Marco Frontel. Christopher L. Gallagher. Dennis Michael Gallagher III. Julia Garibaldi. Ashley Jill Geisler. Madison Jenko. Brianna Maria Gomez. James Patrick Gillardi. Katie Elizabeth Gorka. Sarah Elizabeth Goodman. Myra Gowan. Kyle E. Gold. Gina Lauren Grassmetter. Skylar Marie Grazer. Demetrius Sean Green. Sarah Alexis Green. Shelby Lee Gregko. Lexis Alexandra Grahoski. Christian Louis Grosso. Olivia Jane Gutierrez. Daniel Alexander Gutman. Auburn Marie Hackney. Stephen D. Hall. Jessica M. Hanf. Madeline R. Hansberry. Amy Elizabeth Hasler. Matthew Holden Hawthorne, Jr. Alyssa Hayes. Gabrielle Hayes. Brian F. Heasley. Amber Cherie Heineman. Richard B. Hellings. Cody Hemberger. Jamie Allen Hicks. Erica Lut Luz Hildago. Morris Hill, Jr. Kashmir Ali Hiltner. Jeremy Joseph Ho. Gabriella A. Hoffman. Phoenix Mason Holt. Devin A. Horton. Jacob Patrick Howe. Thomas Aaron Hoy. Sophie P. Huffert. Grace Nicole Hughes. John C. Hughes. Rachel Lynn Jackson. Stephen D. Jackson. Miriam Jangela. Emmanuel Jasso. Yusef Javid. Brianna Johnson. Leanna Cameron Jones. Samantha G. Jordan. Kiza S. Joseph. Melania Kalihada. Akaterina Kalanina. Kayla Lynn Cates. Mark M. Kaufman. Paige J. Kaufman. Charles Matthew Kiebert III. Brandon T. Kelly. Jared R. Keyes. Maya King. Aiden Christian Kircher. Dora Ashley Kirsch. Connor 
M. Kitzmiller. Lauren T. Klein. Jason Edward Kletchak. Rachel L. Kohler. Jocelyn C. Kosiba. Benjamin I. Kovitz. Kyle J. Kasari. Emily Paige Kranikovich. Rachel S. Crane. Anthony Kralik. Rocco L. Calandria. Joaquin Brody. Luca Anguladze. Tessa M. Krapel. Rashawn M. Gaines. Jake R. Ginsburg. Natalie Hernandez. Miles Maxwell Davidson. Janessa Bloom. Ivy Ann Flores. Emmanuel Glasgow. D'Angelo Farson. Military.